Sarah, more on the red flag warning and a frost advisory. Vera Mena is standing by. Hi. Hi, uh, Sarah. Good evening, everyone. Well, a red, flag, a red flag warning, excuse me, just basically means that we are going to see critical fire weather conditions uh, until 3 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. We are looking at sustained winds that could reach up to 25 miles per hour and gust in the mountains up to 40 miles per hour. The relative humidity is also going to drop into the low teens and into the single digits. Now, the area that's going to be affected extends from Santa Barbara to our north as well as as far south as San Diego. And with this red flag warning, there is also a wind advisory for those same areas. And that just basically means that you are going to experience very windy conditions for the mountains and passes. So if you drive a big rig, a motorhome, anything that sits up high, just be extra careful, exercise caution. You know the drill. Um, with that, we also have a frost advisory because we are getting that big ridge of high pressure bringing very cold winds out of the Rockies and funneling them into our region. Lancaster and Palmdale, you guys are going to see your overnight temperatures drop into the 20s and 30s until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. And that basically means just be extra careful. Bring your pets in tonight. And also, if you have any sensitive plants that you're really attached to, bring those little guys in too because it is going to be cold. Now, things are going to change. The seven-day forecast has a beautiful weekend in store. I will have that for you coming up in just a few minutes. Back to you guys for now. All right, Vera, thank you. Right. And today was sunny. Yes, it was. Yes, yeah. it was. In fact, I was in uh, Valencia this afternoon uh, riding through the hills there, and it was really uh, uh, nice with the guys from uh, Road Bike. So thanks for taking me out uh, for a little spin. Uh, we had beautiful weather, and we are going to see more beautiful weather coming up on the seven day. In the meantime, though, let's downtown Los Angeles. Clear skies tonight. No more marine layer. Those uh, offshore winds are staying away. Right now, we're looking at 59 degrees over downtown Los Angeles, 60 at the airport, 57 in Ontario, and Palm Springs, we're looking at 68 degrees for you. On the satellite radar picture, we have that big ridge of high pressure parked over the four corners in the Great Basin area, and the circulation around that high is what's funneling all of that cold, strong wind into our area and producing those Santa Ana winds. We have a red flag warning, a frost advisory, and a wind advisory. A little heads up, I gave that info to you earlier. In addition to the the windy conditions. We're also going to see those temperatures drop. Take a look at this. Lots of 40s tonight in much of the western end of the San Fernando Valley, as well as for Ojai, New Hall, and 29 in Lancaster, 25 in Wrightwood, 36 in Hesperia, and 25 for Big Bear. A lot colder tonight than it was last night, and we are going to continue to see those cool temperatures overnight. Daytime highs, though, going to be very nice, comfortable. 79 in Simi Valley, 73 in New Hall along the coast. We're looking at temperatures in the mid to upper 70s as we head further south, low 70s, and in the IE. Take a look at this. Not too bad. Nice and comfortable. We're going to be hovering in the low 70s in San Bernardino, but Riverside, how about 75 for you? Not a whole lot to complain about there. All right, let's get to that seven-day forecast. It's going to be gorgeous. You're going to love it. Tomorrow, Inland Empire, 72, still a little bit breezy. The winds will calm down after 3 p.m., and then take a look at Friday, 80 degrees, and we're going to keep it steady in the low 8th of Long Beach. It is actually going to warm up a little bit more if you are in Santa Monica and maybe even as far as Malibu, we're looking at mid-70s for you if you want to go to the beach. San Fernando Valley, San Gabriel Valley, look at this, just spectacular weather. A little bit windy tomorrow, but still at 81, mostly clear skies, you can't complain. 85 as we take a look at Friday and then take a look at Saturday and Sunday. Absolutely gorgeous and things won't cool down for you until Wednesday of next week and even then... 80 degrees. Nice. All right, that's a look at the seven day forecast. You can plan your weekend. How about some five live traffic? We do have that closure. If you missed it earlier, we had live pictures from Tin Lin up above the southbound side of the 405. Remember, they're going to close down all lanes from midnight to five o'clock in the morning. That will be from the 101 down to Getty Center. Our second map takes us to another overnight construction project. This will be on the eastbound side. Make that the westbound side of the 60 as you approach the 605 interchange. A couple lanes will be closed there as well for overnight maintenance and those two will reopen at 5 a.m. All right, that's a look at five live traffic and your seven day forecast. We'll be right back with more.